I've just got back from Antarctica, which was absolutely phenomenal. It's like being on another planet. It's a truly otherworldly experience. I've plunged straight back into the PhD work with renewed vigour, uh, having a new understanding of what it's like down there. Getting that context was something I didn't really appreciate the importance of before I went, but it's really helped to make everything click into place. All the modelling work and the aircraft data analysis and the reading and the literature reviewing about this incredible place. It all makes so much more sense now I've actually seen it, put my feet on it and generally understood it better. So while we were down there, we were part of this project called Orchestra, which was measuring the exchange of energy and heat between the ocean and the atmosphere. And we were doing that by flying in a small twin otter plane, very low to collect data on that. And if you're interested, you can check out my 60 second science video, which is on my YouTube channel and also on the Bass website if you want to search for that. Even flying over the Peninsula Mountains was unbelievable. The views are breathtaking. We did some pretty amazing stuff as well. So we flew at low level over the ice shelf, which was really useful for my own research. And then we did lots of low level flying over sea ice and open water, which was interesting to measure the movement of heat and energy between that bottom layer of the atmosphere and the top layer of the ocean. And most excitingly, I think, we did the first ever science flight um, between the ice shelf edge and the new iceberg A68 which broke off from the rest of Glass and Sea in July 2017. So we're the first ever people who've been able to fly in that gap and take measurements. Um, it's incredible. I've been part of a team that's first. How cool is that? Of course, I wasn't flying all the time. And when I wasn't, I was part of the MET team. So that's the meteorology team who do the observations for aircraft, field operations, day-to-day -day running of the station. Plus, I got to release weather balloons, which measure the atmosphere as they travel up through the sky, creating this vertical profile that's really useful for atmospheric science and weather forecasting. And one last thing, I'm making a film about all the stuff we did down there. So watch this space for a film about penguins, snowboarding, AKA me falling down a mountain face first and obviously all the very exciting atmospheric science that we did. <laughs>